Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Apex. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you how to guys fix out the low GP usage into the CSGO. Guys, because of this, you are also causing the low FPS in your game, the stutters and the FPS drop because of the low GP usage. So, here into this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix out this problem 100% on your every PC. Like if you are playing onto the desktop PC, you are playing onto the laptops. So, guys, this video is going to help you out load to fixing out your these problems but guys before starting out this video if it's your first time here onto my channel so guys make sure to subscribe turn on the notifications and also drop a like onto this video therefore you never miss out any next video update from my this channel if i upload about the csgo or any other game so guys with wasting any time let's go straight into this video so guys first and the most important step you need to just guys follow out every step carefully and just watch the complete video so just first open up your CSGO and go into the settings and just follow out my these settings carefully. Go into the video settings, go for the advanced video settings and here is the advanced video settings for your PC. But before I just show you the videos one so it is according to your needs like if you play onto the 1080p, 1920 by 1080 p or any other guys you can just use out this according to you. So here is the next which is the uh, laptop power saving. So guys make sure to guys disable out these options from here if you are playing on the uh, laptop but I'm playing on the PC so guys I uh, probably disable it out. So just after disabling out the uh, power saving mode now go for the advanced video settings. So first here is the global shadow quality. So just set it on to the low for getting the best FPS. It will also guys increase your FPS into the CSGO and also guys it is fix out your low GP usage and guys you will get more fps so just here is the next setting which is the model slash the texture detail so make sure to set it on to the high because this setting is going to guys do the magic in your gpu so next here is the gpu streaming so just disable out it here is the effect so just set it on to the medium now here is the shader detail set it on to the low here is the boost layer contrast you can guys use it according to your needs but guys i will uh, recommend you to enable the settings next here is the multi core rendering if you have more than the i5 uh, cpu like i have the i7 third gen processor so guys i'm just enabling out the settings but if you have a i5 gen or the low end uh, processor so just disable out the settings and if you have a latest or the high end processor so just enable out the settings it is also help out you to boosting up your fps and guys give you a smooth experience into the csgo so guys just after enabling out the settings now here is the multi sampling of the anti aliasing mode so just guys set it on to the none next here is the fxaa anti aliasing so just guys also disable out the settings from here next here is the texture filtering mode so just uh, set it on to the trilinear which is the auto trilinear next here is the wait for the vertical uh, sync so just also disable all these options motion blur turn it off and here is the triple monitor mode so also turn off this option so just after doing the setting just click here on the apply button and just change out the settings so guys just after changing out the settings you need to just simply close out the csgo and go on to the windows and now we are going to do some optimizations for our window for getting the best performance of your gpu into the every game like csgo like fortnite apex legends or guys minecraft so just after doing it now you need to just go into the window search and just type here power and sleep settings go here into the sections and here is the related settings which is the additional power settings open up this go for the high performance settings guys you will get these options uh, here under the show additional power plan if you are onto the default setting which is the balance which is recommended but when you click onto the uh, show additional power plan so this option which is the high performance will show up here onto this place instead of the power saver so just select out the uh, high performance one from here and just close out this window now go into the home sections of your window settings you can also just go onto the windows icon click onto the settings button and you will go here into these sections now just after doing it go for the gaming sections go into the gaming mode and make sure guys turn on the gaming mode from here but before enabling out it you need to just make sure you are guys already onto the latest 
update of the window because if you are not on to the latest update of the window so guys this will not work probably best with your game and guys it will cause the stutters and the low fps in your game so guys make sure guys do the settings and update your window first of all before doing any settings from here now just after doing it now here is the most important setting which you need to guys apply out now so just i will give you the link of the msi afterburner into the descriptions of this video we are not going to guys overclock over gpu we are just use just one settings of the msi afterburner so just you need to just simply download the msi afterburner from my link website which i also give you into the descriptions of this video so just go there and download and install the msi afterburner double click here and open the msi afterburner so guys here is the interface of the msi afterburner so first you need to just simply reset your settings if you are already using the msi afterburner and next here is the guys temperature limit so just make sure to guys set it on to the 90 percent or the 85 percent like this or you can also set it on to the 90 percent but i will recommend you to guys simply just set it on to the 85 percent just after doing it now just click apply button and just minimize the msi afterburner guys it will be running in your background you can also check it out here it is running so just after minimizing it you need to just go into the this pc go for the properties go into the advanced system settings go into the performance settings and from here just select out the custom one and just follow out all of my the settings which i'm using here for the appearance of my window just check mark here onto the smooth edges of the screen fonts and also onto the show thumbnail instead of the icons just apply click ok just after doing the setting just close out it go for the device manager and from here guys you need to just scroll down and find out the option which is the system devices so just guys here is the option which is the high precision event timer you need to just right click here and just disable out this device from here now it is giving me the enable options because i have already disabled out it guys it will help out you to guys give you a smooth gaming experience with guys without any stutters in your csgo or any other game so just make sure to disable out these options from here now just after doing these settings now you need to go for the directory where you have installed the csgo so guys i have installed it on my local lix g you can also check it out here here is a steam library folder open up this one go for the steam apps and here is the guys folder of the common and the downloadings so just go into the common and here is over counter strike downloaded global defense so just open up this one and here is the guys the launcher or the exit file of the csgo just right click onto this logo go into the properties of the csgo now click onto the compatibility and just check mark here for the disable full screen optimizations go for the change high dpi settings click onto the override high dpi click ok apply the settings and click ok just guys close out this window and now here is the last step for this guys procedure so guys go into the google chrome and just update your nvidia or your amd radeon driver so i'm using the nvidia gpu so just go into the nvidia website and just update your driver from here if you are the amd user i already make a video about the best settings for the amd radeon i will also give you the link of the end screen of this video so you guys make sure to watch this video which is the best amd radeon settings for the best performance of your gpu so just also download the driver of your gpu from here and also download the driver of your nvidia drivers from here you can also download from the geforce experience here is guys the icon of the geforce experience just open up this one and just click on to the check for update and just update your driver onto the latest version for the boost guys gpu if you are nvidia or the amd users so just after updating your driver now you need to just simply go on to the nvidia control panel if you are amd user so guys you can now leave out this video and go for the next video which i'm going to give you into the i button and also onto the end screen of this video go there and just watch out the video about the best settings for the amd radeon so just now guys go for the nvidia control panel settings so go into the adjust image settings with the preview set it onto the use the advanced image settings go for the 3d image settings and just follow out my d settings guys here the setting which is the open gear rendering gpu set it on your gpu model which you have like i have the geforce 1650 super so select out this model now here is the most important setting which is the power management mode 
so just set it on to the preferred maximum performance from here for getting the 100% usage of your GPU it will give you guys more FPS increase the performance of your game now just after doing it here is the next option which is the texture filtering quality set it on to the high performance from here guys you can also set it on to the performance or the high quality but I will suggest you to go with the high performance for getting the best FPS in your game so just after doing out the settings now guys click here on to the apply button and just apply out the settings so I already use the settings so just I'm leaving out the Nvidia control panel just guys after doing the settings guys I hope so you will get the best usage of your GPU in your game of CSGO so guys make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification therefore you never miss out any video from my this channel and if you have still any question in your mind so guys make sure to ask me into the comment sections and you can also follow me on the insta for the latest update of my videos and ask me any question in the inbox of the instagram so guys till at the next video allah hafiz and the bye bye